this is ML guy. In today's video, we will write a Python code together to capture a screen. As a sample project, I use the Formula One game. So we will go step by step with the code and let's see what we are going to do. The most important part here is that what modules that we are going to use. Uh, the first and important module that we should use is uh, is the module called MSS. Yeah, yeah, this is. That's actually what I prepared here. <laughs> MSS is uh, very fast for getting the screenshot uh, from your desktop and it's compatible with different platforms. Then let's start from this one. The first module that we are going to add, of course, is our MSS. Open CV. Then the, uh, another part is you need to have pillow. Uh, we need to also import numpy and time I import time to measure the performance of the program so we can see how many seconds it takes for each screenshot to be taken from the desktop and from the game and yeah how much time we need to spend on it and how much time we need to count on it let's start the game so we have the formula one 2019 game in order to capture screen and then do all the other processing that we want to do and uh, let's restart the lab here again okay uh, let's put the car in the straight line it's in Australian Grand Prix so let's have a nice ride with it we need to then define what is the resolution of the capture screen that we want to do right resolution of this window is uh, 1600 pixel multiplied by 1024 pixels you can of course choose the smaller one which to collect the data we need to do the smaller one just I want to show the speed of program with a higher resolution of course in the next step we would do all our processing with a smaller resolution then I need to define what that's an important question this is the coordination of the starting point for your screen our width as I said is 1600 our height is 1000 24 then we need to match top and left of our window to this coordination we will see where it is then we will match our window now let's make it 200, 200 then we need to define our MSS function and we put it in the in the loop so the first and important part is here to grab the screens yeah 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 then we have image uh, from bytes okay here we need to define what kind of image that we want to get we need to show our image in open v, uh, open cv uh, the output from this image needs to transform to the to the numpy array to show this image in the screen so here what we should do is that we need to do cv2 in show right let's try that to see what the result comes of our, our out of this program we don't expect that it's working let's try that yeah okay seems something shows up it is not responding so some part of the program is not correct okay guys uh, it seems that we need to define some breakpoint this is one of the solution i found from a stack overflow it seems it's good enough the solution is implemented let's just start the program again Go to my terminal and start the program. Oh, bam! It's working. 
Okay, so we have not the right image that we want because the coloring is a problem, but we can see how fast it is. Okay, it's not that bad actually. Just imagine that this image is processing on the CPU, it's not on GPU. So basically, if this resolution, this is I would say that the module work is fine. Uh, it packages, so we need to find the PR is possible. Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, let's restart the lap again. Okay, we need to work on the coloring of the image. Yeah. I will park the car here. Next to the DRS line. Ah. Okay, it seems the the coloring is not correct. Let's correct that. We have our beautiful program here. The resolution also seems correct. I can match it here. Okay. Uh, let's go for the performance measurement and the coloring. Let's just start with the coloring first. Here we have our RGB. We need to make this RGB to BGR, color space. And we will do it with OpenCV module itself. BGR, BGR, the BGR. It seems fine for me. Let's start the program again. Let's stop this one. Then I start it again. Perfect. Now we have the BGR part of our OpenCV here. Perfect. Then uh, that's about it. We have the nice screen grabbing from the from the game. Yeah. Then we start the game. We open the ABRS. We have the straight line. We go straight to the wall. We have the invalid Perfect. <laughs> That's what we want. So you can see how fast it is. Uh, in order to measure it more in seconds. Let's add some timestamp to our program. Let's add the timestamp here. We want to have timestamps from here. We call it begin time. Then we want to here put some print function. Nice. Let's just start the program again. Okay, I have my terminal here. So each frame actually processed around 70 milliseconds. 70 milliseconds was, I would say, a pretty good value for such resolution. And one thing to consider, this is not GPU-based uh, image. So this is total based on CPU. This, this image, this window, of course, is based on GPU. This is not. And the time it takes to grab the screen from here and if we drive you can see the value still remains around the 75 milliseconds it goes up and down yeah. let's go to let's go to the wall the damage is also on the camera break everything okay uh yeah uh, that's about it uh, let's say we have a very nice program here which can act really good 70 millisecond it's a good enough value for the processing and to do Whatever that you want, you want, for example, to do some autonomous driving or you want to capture the image to find the lanes for your algorithm or whatever you find. Here we want to play a bit. Yeah. Ah, look how nice it is. 
let's make some hazards for this program then basically what I would say most probably doesn't have any prediction base image capturing it really gets uh, the image because if it has a prediction then if you do some unpredictive moves into your picture then you will see some latency around this uh, movements that you have okay guys thanks for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to write a comment and i hope that you have a nice day bye